Hello students, welcome to yet another session of introducing the subject unit wise from the syllabus. Today we will be discussing about the subject mobile computing. The subject code is 19UCS E07. I am Anwar from the Department of Computer Science who will be taking you through this video as well as dealing with the subject. So in unit 5 as we are discussing today, we will be talking about three areas. One is mobile network layer. We have dynamic host configuration protocol. The third one is mobile transport layer. So transport layer as well as network layer. So these are the two pillars of the OSI model. So as you all know, network layer falls in third layer and transport falls in fourth layer. So network layer is responsible for routing and the transport layer is responsible for going through all the subnets as well as choosing the right networks. So to talk about mobile network layer, we will be discussing about the mobile IP, so which is the name for every device. We will be talking about the goals that has been achieved and the assumptions and the requirements for running the network layer. We will be talking about entities and terminologies. We will be talking about IP packet delivery, how a packet gets delivered from one system to another through wireless medium. We will be talking about the agent discovery. So agent is something that who is responsible for receiving the package and to take on to the next device. We will be talking about the registration. How an unknown device when it gets to get connected into network. So it has to get registered and through which data will be passing from one place to another. So to talk about the mobile transport layer, we will be discussing about traditional TCP. Here transport layer has responsible for two types of communication. So one is wired medium and one is through wireless medium. And for wired medium, we have TCP and for wireless, we have UDP. So we are discussing about the traditional TCP here. We will be talking about congestion control. So wherein in when n number of packets or n number of data units have to be transmitted from one place to another, obviously congestion occurs. So how is our transport layer is responsible for controlling all these conditions? We'll be looking at it. We'll be talking about the slow start. The slow start is something that wherein slow devices which are producing data, so they will be not able to get connected in a very elaborated way. So transport layer has to take access over it and it has to take responsible for making the data from move from one place to another. And we'll be talking about the fast transmit. Transport layer is also responsible to take control of all the devices which are transferring data in a very fast way. Since the receiver might not be able to get the data, so there has to be some stopping mechanism, right? So transport layer is doing something that. So as you can see, so the diagram itself is telling you, it introduces the protocols and mechanisms used for support mobility. So since we are dealing with move, moving objects or mobile, mobile computing, so how this network layer is being devised in an elaborated way. Here DHCP, the expansion is dynamic host configuration protocol. It's used for maintenance and installation of networked computers. So as you can see, dynamic host configuration protocol is something that, so which automatically generates IP names for all the systems that are getting con connected. So if it's a wired medium connection, so it is easy for us to name the systems wherein if there is a wireless medium type of connection so we are supposed to calculate through an algorithm the number of users that are getting connected and from finding out the right name and for the right ip so we are supposed to do a small calculation so this dhcp does the job and for transport layer so as you can see so it is a combination of tcp and udp for wired and wireless communication so thank you all We'll be meeting very shortly in classes for an elaborated discussion. Thank you.